Elisa wanted to enroll in a girls' school. But in those days, when women's rights were inferior, a woman could only apply with her family's or husband's permission. So Elisa had to find someone to pretend to be her husband. Surprisingly, Mavi can't read, so Elisa's plan falls apart. She left the place in a rage and gave him her earrings as payment for the trip. He looks at the earring Elisa left behind and thinks she must have misunderstood him. So he ran after her carriage and explained to her, despite Elisa's objections, that the people he's been pickpocketing have always been the plutocrats who have been squeezing the people. Elisa was speechless at the answer, but her opinion of Mavi was slowly changing. Then they talked about Elisa's studies. When Elisa talked about her studies, there was a sparkle of intelligence in her eyes. Mavi doesn't know what she's talking about, but he nods in agreement. Soon the carriage arrives in front of Elisa's house. The two of them Saturday in the carriage, reluctant to part. Elisa is the first to break the silence and gives Mavi her earrings as a thank you. Mavi grabs her arm and invites her on a date.